welcome to IN Radio. I'm Ken. I'm John. And we're bringing you episode 12 of our Armada video series. Uh, so today I'm bringing a 400 point Sloan list. What do you have today? I went to the Imperials. I haven't played the Imperials after a campaign <laughs> in a long time. So I haven't had a chance yet to play with the Onager, so I decided to bring two Onagers. So I got a Tarkin double Onager list coming in at three ninety nine. It's actually kind of interesting is when we were looking at each other's lists, I actually have a double Onager list that's very, very similar to this. Uh, so I'm really curious to see how it performs. Yep. So we're going to get to the objectives and our fleets and then right to the battle. I had a bit of three ninety nine beating Ken's 400. So I decided to go second player and give him the options of my objectives. He could choose from Surprise Attack, Planetary Ion Cannon, and Solar Corona. He decided to choose Solar Corona. All right, on my side, coming in at 400 points, I have a Sloan list. I have the uh, an Imperial II class Star Destroyer. I've got gunnery teams, XI-7s, leading shots, uh, electronic countermeasures, and a title of Avenger. So I'll push a few things over. I have a Quasar Fire 1 with expanded hangar bay, flight controllers, boosted comms, and Captain Brunson. One small support vehicle here with the Gazanti cruisers and comms net. And now here comes my squadron list. I have Howl Runner, Sienna Ray, Soon Tier Fell, Colonel Jendon, Merrick Steele, Dengar, and a TIE Defender. Okay, so here's my fleet. I'm trying a Tarkin double Onager list. So I got an Onager test bed with Tarkin, Ozel, Cataclysm, Veteran Gunners, Engine Techs, Expert, um, Ordnance Experts, and Orbital Bombardment Particle Cannons. I have a second one. This one has Admiral Titus, Veteran Gunners, Engine Techs, Ordnance Experts, and again, Orbital Bombardment Particle Cannons. I then have a Architan light cruiser with hand of justice and linked turbo laser towers, along with two comms net Gazantes. Alright, so I have the ISD-2 with Sloan, uh, the Quasar, and the Gazanti. I'm moving at speed 2 here, speed 1. I've got my squadrons kind of close by uh, with the uh, Onagers on the opposite side. My hopes to try and flank them because that's where they're weak. And we're going to see what I can do with Sloan and some squadrons. Okay, so for my setup, I set up like this. Because of Solar Corona, I got full control of where I set up. I have my flagship going speed 2, my second one going speed 2, my Architons in the middle going speed 3, both Gazantes are going speed 1 on the flank side. You can see that I kind of have uh, that Star Destroyer lined up, the goal is to try to take it out. This side of the table is going to be the Solar Corona side. Okay, start of round one, I have some cards that I need to do. First, I'm going to use Admiral Ozel. 
Ozzel is going to go speed one forward like this. And then I'm going to say that your Star Destroyer with Admiral Titus is now going speed three. Okay. Grand Moff Tarkin gives all my ships concentrate fire. I'm going to spend concentrate fire to Cataclysm to, at the start of the ship phase, place your ignition token. We're going to just drop this bad boy straight out in front. Like that. We're going to start with activating Sloan's flagship. I've got a navigate to uh, dial. We're going to use it. Um, I have no shots. So we're just going to go ahead and move speed three, adding the first click on the... Well, we'll add to the first click, I should say. Right on top of the ignition token. This ought to be fun. That's it. We're going to go with the second onager. I just need to see where it's going to be placed. We're going to be using the navigate. We're going to use it. We're going speed two, and I just immediately forgot what I was doing. I think I'm doing this. Can I increase to speed three? No, I'm going to go to speed two. Yeah, I think it was the double crank at speed two. I came prepared. So we're going to do that, and then because I've spent the thing, and I've used the extra click, I'm going to engine tuck to there. And then we're going to go ahead and place down my token. As I move ships around. It's okay, Jen. Move them around all you want. I will. No worries. And we're going to put it right here. Activating the Gazanti. Navigate, we're going to use it. No shots. As is normal with round one. And we're increasing to speed two as well. Architect's going to go. Got to navigate. We're going to use it. No shots. We're going to add a click and then do that. You have to activate the Quasar. I have a navigate dial, going to use it, and I think no matter how I cut it, uh, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to uh, increase my speed to three, and I'm going to do an extra click on my first joint. I am going to overlap a few things. Definitely him. Overlapping Dengar, yes. So overlap three of my squadrons. John, you can place them. Okay, sounds good. Uh, now you're not going to get that close. And everything goes to the back. Here we go. This guy's got a nav. We're going to use it. We're going to speed up to speed two. No one to pass this token to really here. He's going to land right here. We're going to go with my flagship, revealing a navigation. We're going to use it as the dial. We're going to start with that uh, shot that you're sitting on top of. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're close range. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shoot into your... So what's the actual range between our ships? Long. Okay. Long range between our ships. I'm shooting into your side. So, because of the thing, I get all of my dice, including the black dice. So let's see how this goes. That's pretty good. So the accuracy, I'm going to spend to block your brace. The crit is good. We're going to use ordinance experts to reroll both these blacks for one hit. Eh, it is what it is. So, can't use your brace, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six damage incoming with a crit. So, I am 
going to use electronic countermeasures and use the brace anyways. Okay. So it breaks it down to three. You set it to my side. Correct. So I'm going to redirect as well to the rear. We're going to put one to the rear and take two on the side. Sounds good. And I'm triggering uh, orbital bombardment cannons. Each ship at distance one of the defender suffers two damage, and each squadron suffers one. So, so I am going to... You can't scatter or brace or do anything with yeah, that. Yeah, I can't do anything. It's can just it? straight damage. Yeah. That sucks, folks. But fortunately, it's just Sienna and Howl Runner, and Suntir is just outside of range one. Yep. Just. Okay. And then i got to figure out how to move. I think we're going to drop down to speed one and do a turn. If you don't mind grabbing my token for me. Mm -hmm. I'll let you have that back. Okay, and then we're going to throw it out to about, so inside long range. I want to be able to get short range on that and that. Okay, somewhere like that. We're going to go with my last Gazanti. It's got a navigate. We're going to use it, and we're going to pass that token over to there. And then we do this. Done. Squadron phase. John has no squadrons for a change. Uh, I have a whole little small plethora. So I'm just going to move all my squadrons. We're going to start with the TIE Defender in the back here. And he's going to zoom up to about here. And we're going to move Merrick Steel. He's also going to hang out to about here. And I believe we're still within plenty. In fact, I got boosted comms with this guy, so it's not going to matter. Uh, we're going to start moving a couple other things. Let's get Dengar. I'm going to put Dengar right on top of your token so that you maybe forget about it. And Jendon is going to go hang out over here. Oops. As I just knock everything over and move it all. Actually, you know what? We're going to move over here. right on top of your guy. Yeah, let's see. The rest of my guys are all moving at 5 minus Howl Runner. So we're going to pull Howl Runner over here. And the rest of my stuff. Sienna can easily make it right in the middle here. All right, I believe that ends turn one. So my first activation is going to be Sloan's ISD because I don't feel like getting double onagered. I have a navigate dial. I am going to use it. I have two shots. Uh, we are just outside of close range. We measured it, but I will show you uh, that although it looks like we're in, we are just out. So we're at medium range. Uh, so I'm going to make the, and I have you double arc. I'm going to make the side arc shot first. So it's two blues and two reds. Solar Corona is over here, so if I roll an accuracy, it, an accuracy has, to be it has to go away. So let's see what we get. Well, I've got two accuracies, so we're going to remove one, right? Yep. Uh, well, before I do that... Now it immediately happens. That happens immediately, so I can't do that. So anyways, I've got XI-7s, so that's three points of damage, and uh, let's see, you cannot use your... Can't use your redirect. Okay, I salvo you. Yeah, figured you would do that. So, salvo is a blue and a red. Yep. So, accuracy doesn't really matter, and then a damage going into your side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Hold on, actually. Yeah. All right. I will wait. No, just one's fine. Sure. 
And then I'm taking three. Three to the front. And I'll just take three to the front. All right, so then I am going to make a second shot from my front to your front. Uh, I am going to use Avenger on this one, so you can't salvo me again. And we are not in the Solar Corona for this one. Correct. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, I'm not going to use leading shots, and we're going to once again block your brace. Okay, so we redirect. We only can redirect one. So we go one there. You said eight? Yep. So one, two, three. First one's uh, face up. Mm -hmm. Or your opponent may either reduce your speed by one or choose a new command dial on top of your dial. <sighs> I get to see your command dial, don't I? You, after you choose. We're going to give you squadron. Okay. It was a concentrate fire, and it's going to squadron. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your red dice have been good to you. Yeah, they're actually supporting my ability to beat you up here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do then, because this is tricky, I either have to go right in your line of fire, or I could get around you, but I think... I might be my well, but see, then you've got your other shot at me, too. I think I'm going to be able to pull this off. So we're going to reduce to speed, too, as I value my Quasar. And I think the ISD can survive it. That's one and one. And I'm going to put myself right in front of you. And I did not overlap any squadrons, either, doing it. Good. Well, all your squadrons are pretty close, so when I uh, hit you, it's going to be good. Let's go with the Onager, right here. It's got a squadron. I don't need that. So we're not even gonna save it, we're just gonna toss it. And then um, my token is right here under Dengar, so clearly we're close. And I have you also at close range into your side that has no shields. So we're gonna shoot into that. So four reds and three blacks into your side. For not a lot. That's not bad. I got the three things that I need. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to re-roll the double blacks. With uh, veteran gunners? Or ordinance experts? Ordinance experts. For the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't brace. Yeah, I'm going to ECM that anyways and use the brace to bring that down to three. You're hitting my front or no, my side? into your side. Into my side. So we're also going to redirect... Uh, to the front. I'll you know, knock that down for you, and then... You know, pull your shenanigans. So... I should have one shield on the front now, right? Correct. So technically, I do a damage to myself. You do? Which I'm going to put... Uh, two. Two... Isn't it two damage to Yeah, actually, you ships? are correct. Two yeah. damage to ships. So we will go both damage onto there. Wiping those shields out, and then uh, one damage to, I believe, almost all of your squadrons, yeah, except for the except defender. Except for the one tie defender. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take care of that real quick right now. And then we're going to be ramming, and I'm going to be spending this token to double ram you. With engine techs. All right, but you get to take some damage at the same time, so I'm okay with that. All right, activating the quasar, navigate dial. We're going to use it as a, uh, the dial. Uh, I have no shots, so let's go ahead and make my move. I'm going to drop down to speed two. And I believe Jendon is going to get moved around. So I will let you place Jendon where you would like it. Well, maybe not where you want him, but as we move everything else around, which is fine. It's half the fun. Yeah, dropping squadrons. There we go. Activating the Architon. It's got a concentrate fire, so we're going to use surprise, it. Surprise. We're going front to uh, side. No obstruction. No obstruction. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that's about it. Okay. So we're going to start with a red for, for a hit. hit, and then we're going to add in another red. For a double. 
And we're going to leave it at that. Three into your side. I've got nothing on the side there, do I? So I'm going to... Okay. All right, we're going to spend my redirect to push one to the side. Or one to the rear, rather. Sorry. And then I'll just take two. Okay. So four total. And then we're going to move, and it's going to be a very close move. Let's see. Do you ram yourself? Nope. Nope. It makes it look like I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to swoop in a little bit so you guys can see how close we are. Activating the Gazanti. I've got Squadron Command. I'm going to use it. So I've got a few things in medium range and uh, Gendon to relay. So what I'm going to do is uh, activate my two squadrons. I'm going to activate the TIE Defender and the and Merrick. So let's get the TIE Defender up there. I can clearly get to him. I just want to stay outside of... Okay, we're outside of close range. I can attack, so let's make our first bombing run. So that's one blue. Oop, goes off. That's a hit. Okay. Um, I take it. Okay. And second one is going and to be... And I sell you. Sorry. Okay. For nothing, I ordinance experts. For a hit. For a hit. All right, so take one. And I'm going to move Merrick Stale. And he's going to hang out over here also. And he's also going to bomb the Onager. And I can get rid of... Let's I can spend your... Ooh, let's spend your Salvo token. So it goes away. And then I've got one more hit. Doesn't really matter. We just take it. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to move him. And yes, for those watching at home, I am aware that I could have moved that to a critical. I just decided not to. We're going to let John live a little bit longer. We're going to go with the other Onager. I have no shot off of my token, so I just take that token back. Um, I still won't have a shot out the front because it's obstructed, so I lose the one red die at long range. I could shoot your front with one red dice, so that's what I'm going to do with my Concentrate Fire Dial. Joy. So here we go. One red for a blank, starting off strong, mm -hmm. adding in a red, and we'll spend this. There goes the Gazanti. Something like that. And so we add in a red into a crit, and then we're going to reroll this one into that, and then we're going to veteran gunners the whole thing into a hit and an accuracy, so you can't use your uh, one redirect. Well, do I have any shields on the front there? You do. You have one. I've got one. Oh, and you're shooting the front, right? Correct. All right, so I'm going to spend out my other redirect. Put it on your side? take the one on the side. Sounds good. And then we're moving. We're going to uh, go speed two. And we're going to spend my token to engine tax. So speed two. And then, do you mind popping me off? Thank you. And then engine tax to right there. Everything you is hooked. You are moving everything today, Jen. I know, I'm a mess. And then my token I get to put out. And we're going to put it... I should use the right side of the yeah. motor. It's slightly different. Right there. This little guy, he's got a navigate. He doesn't really care. He'll use it. 
And then he's going to do this. Right to there. This little guy is going to do a nav. He's going to keep the dial. He's going to pass this to my other onager over there. And then go speed one to there. Squadron phase. I'm going to do some interesting fun shenanigans. So first I'm going to move Dengar as I move my ships all over the place. So Dengar is going to hang out over here. And activate. And then I'm going to use Colonel Jendon. Because Dengar is still at range 2. And Dengar is going to fire into the side of the Onager. I don't know if he really got sight, but whatever. Yeah, I'll fire in the front. No, He's no. also a black dice. Why did I pick up a blue die? Don't know. Alright, so. I got a blank, which that kind of sucks. I don't think I can do anything about that, can I? Nope. Nope. Alright, so it didn't matter. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to do? We're going to move a couple other squadrons around, and I think we are going to move TIE Fighter over here. We're going to move Sienna over here as everything drops apart. And I'm going to move soon here over here. Okay. Sounds good. Activating the ISD, I have a... Before you do that, I pass out oh, concentrate right. fire tokens to the ships that don't have concentrate fire tokens yet. So I'm still pulling my nav out, because uh, that's fun. And I am going to fire... Uh, I've got two shots. I've got one shot at the front uh, with your um, Architons, and one out the front... Uh, Actually, maybe I'll fire at your Gazanti instead and just ram you. You only have one health left on the the Onager, correct? Correct. Hmm. All right, so let's start with this. We're going to fire at the Architons first. So it's my front to the front of the Architons. And I have four. Your red dice really want to be doubles today. I yeah, really do. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that, actually. And I am going to leave it as such. So that's, what, four, seven damage? I'm counting eight damage. Eight, yeah. So I contain and I redirect. And I'm going to survive with, like, one, one health. So let me just lift him up. And then we're going to do it over to here. You fine with that? Yep. And then I have four damage cards. Your dice have been really hot. All right, now I have another long range shot. I'm gonna actually take it at the Gazanti, and I believe we're at medium range, aren't we? Yep, All medium right. range to the side. So I'm gonna take it to the side. Again, same numbers. Uh, actually, hang on a second, because I've got XI7s, uh, if you spend the, uh... Then I'm dead. You're dead. Yes, that's a gone. As I'm remember remembering what I have in my ships. So now we're going to fire off at the, uh, the Gazanti. Come on. Something with a couple accuracies. There's my accuracy. Am I in the Corona? I think I might be... Nope. Nope. So you block the scatter. So block I the block scatter. that out. I die. Yeah, that's a dead Gazanti. Okay, so now I've got the ability to just move rather freely. I'm at speed two right now, and so I think I'm just gonna so one crank 
one crank, that second one will definitely hit you. Would you agree with that? Yes. So, uh, let's see. I don't think you're going to be able to at what you just did. No. But right. if I go this way, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because what I don't want to do, maybe if I go to speed three. Gonna, You're going to stay still to ram Wow. If I have to ram you, I stay still. Do I like that? Well, we're going to do this. So. You ram me, I die, you stay still. All right, so before you do that, are we sure that I'm not actually going to... Your shield's going to clip me. Right? I don't know. That's close. Like to, to lock it? I just don't know. Well, shield dial won't click it. Okay, no, then it's I fine. think I'm clear, but you're still going to have a shot. So I'll ram you. We each take one. You get to place those squadrons. And is it this token that's gone? Correct. Give that to you. And that's it for that. I'm going to go with the Onager. The Onager is going to start by revealing a concentrate fire dial. Gonna use it. And then we're at close range and I have you in arc out the back. So we're gonna start with that shot. Also before I do, I need to decide. I do have you side arc. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with this. That's pretty good. And we will concentrate in a black dice for that. And then we're going to use... Yeah, that was a double. That was a double. We're going to use this to uh, re-roll this red into an accuracy. And then we're going to re-roll both of these with ordinance experts into just one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight into your rear. You can't use your brace and you can't use your redirect and I trigger my shenanigans. Okay, so, all right, well, uh, I'm going to ECM to use the brace. Yep. So that brings it down to one, two, three. Four. Yeah, so four, uh, I have to take four. One, two, three, four, and since you're using the crit for other things, then it won't matter. Yep, so a damage here, and a damage here. I am just outside of range of that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do my side shot into your side. Two reds and, and a, blue. a blue. Um... We're going to veteran gunners the whole thing for even less damage. So you can't use your redirect take one. Okay. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing. How much health do you have left? I got one, so if you want to ram me, we can just do mutual destruction that way. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, I'm going to ram you. <laughs> And I'm also going to engine tech. Well, so complete the first move first. So this is the first move to kill you. I'm going to kill you, so... Yeah, so go ahead and... A lot of ram Go ahead and lock that in anyways. So, all right, so the first move's here, right? Yeah. Which then overlaps these three. So I'm going to place them... Here and here and here. Just that will probably force you to overlap them again. Alright. Then I engine tech to here. I'm going to overlap all of them. Like that. 
And then I'm going to place this token. Activating the Gazanti, I've got a squadron command. We're going to use it as the dial. I have Dengar in range and uh, Jendon, but I'm going to leave Jendon alone. We're just going to activate Dengar. And we're going to fire right into the side. He uses his black for a hit crit, but he is not a bomber, so that's just one hit. I just take it to the side. one. All right, now I get to move. I'm going to skillfully avoid the asteroid, and I guess I'll give you a shot at, at the transport. Thank you. You like covering my tokens? I love covering your tokens. It's a lot of fun. I, I've demonstrated I'm very good at predicting where you're going to be with the tokens. It's just yes. not very good at using the tokens. Not yet. Comes with practice. Gazanti is a concentrate fire I have nothing in range. The plan was to possibly snipe your uh, Star Destroyer if it was still alive. This is going to be passed over to here. Waste that. And then uh, we're just going just gonna to do this. Activating the Quasar. Squadrons with the four built in and expanded hangar bay. That's five. Although I only have, I believe, four close by because those are just outside my long range. So let's start with our squadron fire. Uh, Howl Runner is over here and she's going to join the fray and shoot at the side. So that's a blue die. And I have a crit, but she's not a bomber. Uh, Sloan's dead. Except Sloan's dead and Swarm doesn't work against ships. So let's do Sienna Ray. Oof, you really needed Sloan. All crits, really, yeah. Maybe I should have put Sloan on the Quasar. Let's see <laughs> if... Then I would have gone after the Quasar first. True. <laughs> Let's see which if... Which I uh, probably should have done anyway. Which Soon Tier does. Soon Tier gets a hit. Soon Tier gets a hit. We're going to just take it. Okay. And then I'm going to activate Jendon. And I'm going to... I'm going to relay to Dengar. So, or or not ability. relay, uh, use his ability. So instead of attacking, I can choose a friendly squadron. And Dengar is clearly within range 1 to 2. He rolls a black. He also hits. We're going to just take it. Now we're going to make my primary shots. We are at close range out the front and medium on the side. We already checked arcs. So we're going to do the side shot first. Maybe double arc on your side. And this will be, actually I think both will be Corona, Corona Solar Corona, won't, won't they? Correct. Yeah, I think so. Alright. The first shot is, okay, just a crit. Just a crit, which is going to be redirected to the back. And then I'm going to salvo you back into your side. Okay for a red and a blue for a nice accuracy. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, thank you. Um, and I think we're just outside of range one to two of that, aren't we? Yeah. Brunson's not coming into effect yet. All right, so now three blue out the front, again at your side, and that goes away, two hits. At my front? That's at your side, out of my front to your side. Okay, so we're going to brace it. Mm -hmm. And take one, and then let's salvo you. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've done like any damage really with salvo. One for hit and a crit to your front. Hit and a crit to the front. So we're just going to redirect that, and actually, there's no other shots. So we're also going to brace it. So that's one that goes to my right side. 
Okay. Oh, then I gotta move it, don't I? Yes, you do. So now we have a situation that is very, very close. This may or may not hit. Actually, I think it will with the shield dial. We'll see. So one, and let's make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. Yep, I gotta do the other side. No, will you land? It's too long. Yeah, I'm gonna land on, okay. on that. And yes, it's probably gonna ram. Yeah. So that's that's definitely gonna ram. So we're going to just move the one. And my flotilla will take damage. But just one. Squadron phase, I just have the two defenders and I can reach all the way to the quasar. So we're gonna bring Merrick first. And we're gonna plop him. Oh, come back here. Over here. And this tie defender we're gonna put over here. Yep, maybe we wanna mark him as activated. I bumped him a little bit. There we go. We're going to start with the Gazanti squadrons. So I'm going to activate two squadrons. And because I actually did something right for a change, I have uh, Colonel Jendon at medium range. So Merrick is going to double tap the uh, Onager. So first shot is two hits. Very set. Second shot is uh, hitting a crit. I'm going to use his ability to make that into two crits. And you're shooting into my side? I'm shooting into your side, yes. Okay, so I toss the brace and I redirect to the front. Okay, so that's going to activate both of these guys. So Jendon and Merrick. Do that now before I forget. And I have you double art, and I believe we are at close from the front and medium from my side. So we're going to start with the, yeah, it's not going to matter, let's do the medium range shot first. So that's a hit. I take it. And the other one is the close range shot, which is also a hit. I take both. Okay. away from this token of yours. Oops. I'm just going to hold it. That's a click and a click. I'm holding this with the wrong hand. You got it? Okay. You're going to ram. Is that a ram? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go back here. Is that good? Yep. Alright, so I rammed, doing another damage. Uh, you might make short work of that Gazanti. We're going to go with the Gazanti. It's got a Navigate, and we're going to pass it over to my big ship. And then we're going to go at our nice B2. The Quasar has squadrons obviously. So I'm going to activate all the rest of my squadrons. So let's start with uh, Sienna Ray, because why not? So that's a blue die. Let's see if we can't get something beyond crits. I'm fine with that. I'm <sighs> very fine with that. All right, and then I'm just going to move her out of the way and put her over here. Then we're going to activate this TIE Defender and bring him over to where Sienna Ray was. And he gets a blue. There's a crit, but he's a bomber, so that actually counts. We're going to burn the redirect to move it to the front. Okay, soon tier. That's a hit. Got to take it. 
and we have Howl Runner. That's a crit, so that doesn't do anything. And then we have Dengar. Let's see if Dengar can do some damage. It's a hit. Man, I wish Dengar had a bomber. All right, now we have only one side shot. So we're going to take the side shot, my side, to your side. So that's two blues. Four, that goes away because of the Solar Corona. One hit. Okay. And now, what kind of range? I don't think we have range to your... No. We're long range to the Gazanti, so no shots there. I have to move now. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit. Is do that. To avoid ramming and killing your own thing? Yeah. Force you to kill it. Do you land on that asteroid? I do not. Oh, that stinks. There you go. Okay, so we're revealing a concentrate fire. You've landed on my token, and I'm going to shoot from my guy into your into your bottom. All right. So here we go. Wow, that's actually a good roll. Yes, it is. I need an accuracy, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate fire in a red, and then uh, we're going to also use a reroll, because why not? Jeez, I don't think I need a that. We're going to ordinance experts this. So remember what I was saying about dice roll? They yeah. decided to just all come back right here, right now. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 into you, and I'm triggering stuff. Alright, so I'm going to clearly be redirecting and bracing. Uh, you're hitting my side, correct? I'm hitting your rear. On my rear, so I'm going to be redirecting to my left side. Uh, and then bracing, and I'm also going to wind up using Brunson, which allows me to cancel a die. So I'm going to, because I'm right next to the Astro, we're going to cancel. Oh, doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll get rid of that one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 turns so into six. 6. So that would be 1, one 2, two three. 3, 4, 5, 6. What would that uh, leave you at? That would leave me at 3. So the question really becomes, are you going to use that crit or not? Uh, yes, I'm using the crit because it's going to kill Sienna. Okay. And then it hits you for your uh, Gazanti. So we're going to do that on the right side. Two oh, damage two and damage. blows it up. So, yeah, that's gone. Wow, that just changed everything. So I'm going to speed two. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I know what you're thinking. You could do that. Uh, put myself at one health, and then double ram you, leaving you at one health. And then you're gonna, you're going what oh, speed two? I'm moving at speed two. Then I would immediately lose. <sighs> if I jump up to speed, th because I honestly was not expecting to make it this far. <laughs> Like at all. You've heard this now, folks. It took a while, but Ken might actually win a game. There's just no way that ship survives, regardless. If I move like this... No, I can call it. It's a game here. I double ram you. Alright, cool. So you'll double ram me. So we'll each take two damage. And then you've got no activations, correct? Left. No, and you have no fighters left. So, but at the next turn, you, my fighters are going to chew through you if you yeah, only need so one. So just health. roll. You automatically kill me if you active. If you have a squadron, yeah, you yeah. automatically kill me. I, I do. So. Okay. So then there you go, folks. The next round, Ken's got squadrons. Okay, and then you turn away from me like this. Yeah. And 
then you survive on one health from being tabled by the little Gazanti. By the Gazanti. Yep. Cool. Good game. All right, John, good game. One health off. Yeah, uh, if you would have had an accuracy in that last roll, yeah. uh, then you would have uh, wound up winning. Uh, so it was a lot closer than the score really reflects. Yeah, well, uh, that's like all of our games, though. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> all of our games are a lot closer than the score reflects. Which is kind of a weird thing about the scoring with Armada. Uh, Crippling, it should be across the board. Yeah, because, um, well, then we'd be scoring more points. Well, I would have. You would have scored more points against me. You would have gotten another like 35, 40 yeah. points. Um, but nonetheless, it is what it is. So I tabled you. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the onagers? This is your first time. <laughs> it's not my. So as much as I drop to speed zero, they're not my playstyle. Again, that's not what I did here. Um, but that was mainly because I just wanted to be aggressive with them. Mm -hmm. After playing it, a Monty would have been better with Hondo to get that initial mm -hmm. token off. Um, Tarkin really, like, he, lots of tokens, yes, but I'm still going to be, they want to do the command that I'm going to be using the token for, so it doesn't really matter. And then I got two comms that, uh, Gazantis that they're passing me tokens, yeah, so I don't help, need yeah. three tokens a turn. No, really, with, with Tarkin and Onagers, and I, I've got something similar, but I don't have two Gazantis. I think I have one and a, uh, you know, two Architons instead. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a back and forth on how you want to to leverage it but still i think you were even saying uh when we were off camera that you did fared a lot better than you were expecting well my dice went from really really bad <laughs> to that last roll which i mean when was the last time you saw 13 damage like uh, it was yeah uh, that was that was pretty impressive uh, um, side note if you didn't have brunson you would have died too yes equally true so clearly i am getting better at this game because i had one or two things that actually helped me out your ecm on the the isd uh, and Brunson on the Quasar. Yeah. Uh, the XI-7s allowed me to take out... Uh, you obliterate... You, you killed, yeah. like, how many of my ships in one shot? It was... It was I, I basically took three ships out with my ISD. Uh, Your dice were turn. hot the entire time. No, I'm not going to dispute that at all. Uh, so. The front arc of my ISD was on fire, averaging, what, seven, six, seven damage a, a, a roll? With accuracies, yeah. With accuracies, which were getting thrown out, so... I mean, the one roll was, like, three reds. Mm -hmm. Double hits, so. Um, as soon as the first turn was done, I knew I lost. Mm -hmm. As is the case with Armada. Usually I know I've lost by the end of turn one. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw all of that, I'm like, eh, this isn't going to happen. Um, but that's just because I don't know how to play yet, Onagers. I think if we were to redo it, it would be a completely different game because I would deploy differently. Mm -hmm. So the question is, would you deploy the same knowing that, or would you deploy differently now? Like if the asteroids and everything were at the same place. If the asteroids were in the same place, I would probably have kept my deployment similar, but I likely would have moved... Uh, my speeds would have been different. Um, I was kind of banking a little bit on what you were doing with the onagers. Uh, after deployment, since you had them all off to the one side, I knew I needed to just get around you and I could easily flank you. Whereas if you had the onagers yeah. facing opposite directions i'd be in trouble yeah i would have if i were to redo it i would put the flagship straight ahead i would put the architan where the uh, second one went so i could fly in mm -hmm. from the side there and then i would put the other one down where i believe that was white gazanti was so then it yeah. would have come into you so yeah Man. it would have been different i would still change your speed to speed three if I did it that way, because then you would either be going right into the Architan or going right into the other one, and then I would have... Well, Titus one only changes it by one, so you'd be kicking me to speed two then, because I would have deployed it one. Well, oh, no, in that case I did deploy two, two, yeah. Two. But I would have been reducing it down rather than staying at three. And then I might but, just drop you to zero, so then true. your starting starter was out, and then I would have killed your Quasar. So... That, that's what he thinks, you know. We're going to ignore the previous 12 videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's why, why when you started your, because um, your Quasar was back, mm 
mm-hmm. in your Star Destroyer Speed 2. I knew that if I could kick you up, your ships would not be with each other. Right. That's why I did the Star Destroyer. So if your Star Destroyer was Speed... Um, Two or one? One, then I would have dropped you to zero, so then your Star Destroyer is out of the fight longer. Mm-hmm. That, that's why I asked you. If, yeah. Interestingly enough, though, the way my fleet was designed, I didn't care about the Star Destroyer doing anything with squadrons. So it was completely banked on... Uh, the Quasar and the Gazanti, and I was actually kind of hoping you would have brought some squadrons and you didn't, so uh, yeah, it is what it is, but yeah. that's okay. Maybe the next video I'll have lots of squadrons. <laughs> uh, anyways, final score wrap up uh, was 215 for you, 400 to me, so 8 3 win for me, yep. margin victory is 185. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, so you know, like, subscribe, leave some comments below, let us know what you think, throw a bunch of smileys because Ken won a game. So right here, the streak ended, so that was, you won episode game three. three. So this is episode 12, Third. so... Yeah, it's 12, yeah. What is that? Uh, nine. Nine? And so eight. then all of Karelian campaign. Yeah, so we're, we're going to ignore... So... I gotta build a streak back up. That's that's the new high score. We gotta go for more. Let's see if I can get two. <laughs> yeah. So like and subscribe. Um, leave us comments if you need fleets or would like to see admirals or fleets or certain ships. Let us know. We'll build fleets around it or send us a fleet. Um, yeah. I'm John. And I'm Ken. You've been watching Iron Radio. <laughs>